Gonna do a quick video on the top problems that I find on welders. So, one of the main problems I'll come across is this switch here. It is the on and off switch. Basically, you can just test that for continuity on both sides because it's a double pole switch. I mean, it switches the live and the neutral. So, test both for continuity. Then, another major problem is. Oh, let's do Sometimes you have a thermal cutout on these large wires, so look all around there for a thermal cutout, but this one don't seem to have one. So, that's good I suppose. Then you've got the motor. You can test the winders of the motor, but sometimes it's best just to put your clips onto here and test to see if you're getting voltage down. Be careful because everything's live, but you can test for voltage there. If you're getting voltage there but the motor ain't turning, then it's probably the motor gone. Obviously you've got the switch on the gun as well. I'm going to trace the wires back. So it looks like this wire here, blue wire coming down here. So you want to test that, make sure the switch is working. And then you've got your diodes. Check them both ways with your multimeter in diode mode. To make sure none of the diodes have gone burnt out. That is about it. PCB could go. If these go, you basically chuck the welder away because these cost too much to replace. Then this side you've got this little wheel that pulls your wire through. They can go blunt. They usually like have little teeth on them that grip and pull the wire through but if they go blunt it won't pull it'll just spin and this wire is a bit rusty as well so that makes it harder as well for the wire to go through so that's about it really main switches go thermal cutouts but this one ain't got one diodes your motor your, your drive mechanism for your wire feed mechanism pcbs which has got a transistor on it. Usually you have to replace that transistor because that burns out. So that's about it.